Hello, 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 ladies and gents. Got some really good news to share with you today. So I'm gonna be working with, um, I would say it's not directly the Chinese government, but I'll be working with a um, tourism board for a city here in China. So I'm gonna be producing some content for them. And the good thing is it's not gonna be so obvious, you know, kind of, what's the word, propaganda. You know, the key when I wanted to work with them was I didn't want to just produce content. So look, this place is amazing. Like, you know, come here. Obviously I'm going to be promoting this area. Shish yeah. Um, but the good news is I'll be promoting an area of China that is fairly well known, but they're quite good because they said, look, you can make it quite balanced. You can be, obviously there has to be a positive element when you're promoting anything, you've got to be um, positive about it. But they said it's, you know, the thing is that these, the videos that I'm going to be producing is pretty obvious, right? It's, it's, the place speaks for itself. So it doesn't really need to be shown in a positive light because it is already a great place. But essentially I've, um, signed a new deal which is great you know it just shows that if you really hustle and really work hard it pays off eventually guys and that's pretty much what I've been doing really post Christmas I really just didn't go to so many offline events tried to focus a lot more on getting myself out there Hi. Uh, Hi. Ni hao. Ni, ni I say you're gonna do do your homework. Uh, I'm not sure this is the best time to be doing the vlog. All the kids are leaving school. We never mind. Um, so that's good. I've signed another school as well, which is good news to help them set up here in China. I wanted to talk to you guys today about dealing with clients. You know, good clients and potentially bad clients. So I've had ups and downs recently with different types of clients. I've had uh, the ones I just mentioned, like schools and this um, uh, government tourism board here in China, who have been, to be honest, like a breeze to deal with. Just really you know, quick deals, um, just nice people. You know, this, this is what you always want. You want nice clients but I've had some meetings with some clients recently I'm not gonna say where they're from but yeah uh, did you call them out they said uh they said hello and I said have you eaten uh, so <coughs> screening clients is a, is a big one so I've had a client like a potential client recently that tried to negotiate a stupid price for the services that I offer. And you've got to work out in your head, firstly, what's your limit and what's your response. So let's just say I had a meeting with potential clients yesterday and they said, you know, that price is far too much. Um, let's do a uh, success-based deal, which essentially is bullshit, right? Essentially what it is, it's, it's commission-based. Now, commission deals, they only really work with, with guarantees right they only work i would say if you're a car salesperson or a live streamer here in china you're selling product bulk but like you know you're going to have consistent sales car sales people generally they're selling you know they don't have a drought of weeks and weeks of not selling cars they're generally selling at least a car a day so they know that you know their commission is going to be now when you're selling kind of b2b services it's a lot more tricky. So let's just say I met these clients yesterday and they said, let's do a success-based deal like commission, which is nonsense, right? Because especially if you're putting in a lot of work. And it also, I find that those kind of potential clients, even if you do sign them, their expectation is always higher, right? So even if they do eventually sign a service fee-based deal, they're going to be a pain in the ass to deal with. They're, they're going to think, well, I've got to 
you know, I've paid them this money up front and now I'm gonna, and I always over deliver anyway, but I think that's the big thing about delivering a service. You should always over deliver, but if you've got clients that are a bit too needy and pushy and constantly on your back, you've also got to be clever with that because they're gonna take up a lot, they're gonna sap a lot more of your time. So I'm wondering right now whether they, you know, these potential clients, whether would I want to deal with them? Are they going to be, you know, and that's that's the risk. That you, are they going to be a pain in the ass? And that's the risk that you're going to pay. You know, the, the, that's the risk you're going to take. So it's something I'm thinking about right now. Um, now, how would you guys deal with that? You know, you've got a client that's saying, "Hey, like your price is way too expensive. Let's just do." A success-based deal. From my experience doing business for 10 years now, commission deals, success-based race deal, they just don't work. Get the money up front, guys. That's what you want. Get that money up front. Uh, or at least within a couple of weeks. Uh, you don't want to be chasing clients. I had a client last year that was chasing them for what was it, about four months before I finally got paid. You do not want to be in that position. You want to get that money up front. So that's what I'm kind of having to deal with. You know, you've got great clients that just, yep, yeah, Daniel, let's do stuff. We're going to pay you. And then you've got others that, what, you know, let's do success based, which is BS. So you've got to be careful, guys. Just putting that out there. So yesterday, ni hao, jayo, shed all yeah, yeah, can show G. <laughs> um, so uh, I was saying do your homework and then she she rolled her eyes I'm gonna be a great father one day I'm gonna be a I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna be like a tiger father I'm gonna make my kid from the age of three play the piano well what's your what's your what's your John Goren <laughs> What's all done wrong? <laughs> so, uh, oh, there's a new area today. Taking you to a bit more of a local area. Uh, so, oh, this is interesting, guys. You might find this interesting. Look at that. Selling all sorts of different stuff here. Um, so, what was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> I get distracted in China as well. Yeah. E <laughs> uh, That's what they say in China when someone sees it. It says e which means like, bless you. Uh, so my point was... Uh, right, doing business. Uh, screening clients. Oh yeah, what did I get up to yesterday? So yesterday... Wednesday, I uh, went to the gym with my gym partner. I'm working on a new video. I'm working on an I love you video right now. Because I love you has different cultural um, differences between UK, China. I mean, we, we, in UK, we tend to say it a lot more. Uh, I'd say in China, they say it a lot less. They've even uh, changed I love you to three numbers, Waterling. So I'm working on that. Sent out a load of emails yesterday, which I'm gonna be, uh, um, hopefully uh, get some responses on that. I'm setting up some calls at the moment with clients. Just working hard at the moment. Did a couple of contracts, so I've got a legal background and having that legal background has really helped because it's, when I write contracts and things like that, that's helped. So I did a couple of contracts. Uh, I'm interviewing new interns at the moment, which is going well. I, uh, have I been down there? I don't think you can go out that way, but anyway, go do it. I'll play it safe. And petrol station in China, there you go. Same as the UK or US. And uh, what else am I working on? So new videos, 
podcast is on its way. Panda Profits podcast. Watch time is... The watch time is growing on the podcast right now, but not on these vlogs. So I don't know if I need to get out into China somewhere again. I thought the Macau ones would have done really well. The Macau vlogs I did recently, a couple of F vlogs back would have done really well, but apparently not. So people weren't interested in Macau, even though I had a cracking time in Macau. I think Macau was really interesting. To see the amount of money being thrown around in Macau was insane. People would just like throw down 10,000 RMB, like $1,000, no problem. So that was uh, interesting to see. Uh, yeah, so gym yesterday, I was training with uh, my gym partner, Lee. I've got a good little friend there. And then last night I went for a run. I went for a run down at the Bund, uh, which was nice. Although my ankle's a little bit achy today. So I did that. Uh, and my diet is pretty on point at the moment. I'm only having carbs really in the morning. Hair needs work. Um, so I'm just protein, vegetables. Ooh, yeah, chow yen. Ooh, jen kang. Yeah, chow yen. Jen kang. Menu, hui si huan ni. I said, don't smoke. It's not healthy, and girls will like you more. So, <laughs> he won't listen to me. I've never felt so stressed that I need a cigarette. I've never felt like that. You know, there's different ways to... Ni hao. There's different ways to deal with stress, I think, than cigarettes. And you just smell. I don't understand about smoking. Anyway, my little rant on smoking. So, uh, ni hao. No, ni kai shou. Ni hao. Sure. Hey, hey, hey. There you go, I get me. It's a bit. You're in high show. Be a high show. Who's your dribble? What pie should you pick? Ah. Ni ni hun shuai. I said you're a handsome man. So. Yes, it's been a good couple of days. And that's the best way when you deal with a bit of, I mean, I think I was complaining before to you guys about Easter was just a terrible time for my business because particularly in the UK, everyone just went off for three weeks. So everyone just went on holiday, which was really annoying. So any decisions that were being made that looked like they were going to get made before Easter, they use that as the excuse. Oh, we're going to wait till after Easter. They come back after Easter, other stuff happens. So it's a little business lesson I've learned for next year is... You know, when I know Easter's like, let's say, six weeks or two months away, I've got to get that march is really, really crucial to get stuff done. Don't know, is that potential thumbnail? Could be. Maybe. Maybe the hair needs a bit of work. It's a bit crazy. I think I might need to another one of those hair the haircuts, the 25 kwai haircuts again. Yeah, it's a bit crazy today. Maybe. Uh no, I need to find a better thumbnail. So yeah guys, feel free to drop a comment, whatever you think. And gonna be working hard today. on uh, some outreach. I've got to write my script. It's a nice bike. Oh. And I'm going to uh, one of those Les Mills gym classes tonight. Uh, it's a good coach, English guy actually. A British guy who, uh, just to get my fitness up a bit. Green things. This is a new one. 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 This Oh, my hair as well. My hair's terrible today. 
你给给给我三十秒，好了。好，谢谢。Right， 你你们可以答应我，你回家的时候你会写作业，别看手机，好不好？好的。努力学习，努力学习。哎、right, ，加油！<笑>再见。<笑> God, I'm giving all these kids inspiration today. That might be a fun there. We'll see. Think about it, guys. This is really the only time I get to speak to people. I'm usually in my office or in my apartment, just working away. And uh, yeah, don't get a chance to <laughs> don't get a chance to really. Uh... Oh, this coffee shop popping now. Look at that. Loads of people in there. See this coffee shop. It's in a good location because it's opposite a uh, hospital. So some people will leave that hospital, but come here. And uh, yeah, you can have a little smoke, and people love it. So the hustle continues: working hard, playing hard. Um, I think what else has happened in my life? Too many things. Too many things have happened. Been screening a lot of people out my life recently. I've been going through my WeChat and just getting rid of people that just added you, and that's quite cute. This is quite cute. Look at this little dog. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. Very cute little dog. <laughs> oh, there you go. Here's the famous. Uh, it's a pink. Pink Land Rover, famous. <laughs> uh, again, I'm, no, I'm never sure. It's obviously uh, it's the ladies. Well, could be a ladies. Yeah, so I've got an afternoon ahead of me of work. The sun is out, shining. It's beautiful today. Wish I was outside. Wish I was a personal trainer outside. Here, yeah, guys, I really appreciate all your support on this. I've had some lovely comments. Uh, I don't know that the haters have gone. I don't think they've. I mean, this is interesting. When you get um, content, you're always going to split audiences. Whatever you do, it's always going to be ups and downs. Uh, my video recently that I did on a bottle of water has absolutely exploded. That's quite a nice thumbnail. Yeah, it might be, might be. Um, that has, yeah, exploded here in China. It's got like, I think the last time I looked, it was like 250,000 views, which is insane. And then on YouTube, 5,000. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like <laughs> the disparity between the, the two. But yeah, just got to, with content, especially whether it's YouTube or any platform, you've got to get something up at least once a week. I met this client, potential client, yesterday. He was asking me like, what's the consistency? How often should you post? I said, you've got to get something up at least once a week. That's, that's what it takes. It's like going to the gym. You wouldn't not go to the gym every week or every day or every other day in order to change, right? You've got to feed the machine. So, uh, uh, I'm not going to get involved with that. That's an argument happening behind me. Oh, God. I'm surprised there's not more people surrounding them with cameras right now. That's usually what happens. Here. That's what's how things have changed now. You know, when you've got an incident, people just go around, get cameras, like just let them deal with it and the situation. I think there was a, I think it's a crash happening over there. I don't know. Anyway, my life in China. <laughs> Don't wanna get involved, let them deal with it. Anyway guys, drop a comment, like, let me know what you think. If you've got any questions about business China, what's happening at the moment. I've had a lot of people ask me about coming to China. Yeah, come. It's a great time to come because probably in a month or two, the weather is gonna be very, very humid. It's gonna be very, very, 
I wouldn't say unbearable, but you'll be sweating. I mean, this is perfect weather, right? Because you won't sweat when you walk around, but you might get a little bit of a tan. So it's quite nice. I mean, look, look at that. Beautiful. Very nice. There we go. <laughs> A little bit um, all over the place this vlog today, but hopefully share with you some interesting insights. So subscribe, share, like, whatever. Love, hate, work hard, have a great day. Take care. Jayo, Zai Jen, bye bye.